Hogan Gidley with, I mean, that's amazing. That's the bet. I mean, that's a Trump level comb over. Um, that, that's like, it, you, it, I, it's like being cursed with a head that makes it look like you were, all, you always just took off a baseball cap. And of course, Devin Nunes, who couldn't, looks all the more excited to be running Truth Social now that um, uh, the Biden campaign has more supporters than the Trump campaign on Truth Social. Here we go. Some developments now for former President Donald Trump and his legal cases. Uh, we know several. Really? Things are happening in those things? I haven't really been paying attention other than just laughing and throwing popcorn at the screen. Well, judges but. have put gag orders in place as Trump continues to show strength in the 2024 presidential election polls. That's whining, by the way. That's uh, they call uh, what they mean when they say strength is whining. Against all the other GOP contenders. Our correspondent, John Glasgow, joins us now live from our New York newsroom with more on uh, what Trump. And she does mean more on. Is saying uh, in the court. To reinstate her gag order on former President Trump's case in his federal. Well, OK, so this is a pre-tape and you just rolled the tape wrong. So she was still talking when you went. Nice tie, though, by the way. It's a, 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 I would definitely swerve and miss you if you were in traffic. Okay, so that is. He's charged with plotting to overturn the 2020 election. The gag order was temporarily dropped after legal challenges by Trump's lawyers. Since then, Trump has made comments on social media about his former chief of staff. Very, very Christian comments, by the way. Incredibly Christian. Lovely uh, following the golden rule, which is... Uh, um, it's more like the golden shower rule. Like if you have any friends that don't, that aren't 100% loyal and won't go to jail for you, piss on them. I Meantime, here in New York City, Trump got fined $10,000 for violating a partial gag order for this comment that people watch. Oh, I lose that much run for the bus. Watch live right here on Newsmax at a civil case of overinflating his assets. Watch. Uh, I just gave the judge, he fined me $10,000. I gave him $2,000 and called it 10000 because 8000 of it is brand. And now I'm going to jail. This was a trial should have never been brought, but if we had a jury, it would have been fair, at least. Even if it was a somewhat negative jury, because no negative jury was brought against me. But this no negative jury. Okay, so, I, again, just... This judge well, because this judge is a very partisan judge. With a person who's very partisan sitting alongside him. We're going to be appointing very pro crime judges. Mm -hmm. Perhaps even much more partisan than he is. And, and you get a shot of him going, Oh, yeah? Really? Really? So the gag order prevents. By the way, um, I, I'm tr I keep trying to decide who should play him in the SNL sketches. And uh, I, I know. Um, uh, that the dude from Curb Your Enthusiasm has already done Bernie Sanders, but I think um, this would be a good one. Trump from commenting on members of the judge's staff. Trump was forced to take the stand and explain who he was talking about. Under oath, Trump said that he was actually talking about his former lawyer, Michael. He lied under oath. Michael Cohen. Bullshit. But the judge ruled Trump not credible and that he was actually talking about a law clerk. This is now the second fine imposed on Trump for a gag order violation. As Cohen, as for him, he was under cross-examination. He admitted to lying numerous times about Trump and his own for Trump actions. But last night, he defended his behavior and said this about Trump. I saw a defeated man. I saw somebody that knows that it's the end of the Trump organization. Mm -hmm. already found guilty of fraud the license will ultimately be taken and now this entire case is merely about how much this is merely about how much disgorgement the attorney general will be seeking that that is just that's true actually they are at that portion of it the, all of these arguments about how much he's going to be fined how much money he's going to have to pay out and his company is going to be dissolved that is true yeah, Larry David. I don't know why I blitzed on his name. I was just like looking at the dude's face. So at the end of his testimony, Cohen said Trump never specifically told him to change a property value. Instead, saying in his own words that Trump talks like a mob boss and that it was implied. Trump's lawyers then asked for an immediate verdict, which the judge declined. Then the former president got up and walked out of the courtroom. So let's go back to the gag. Also, the fact like Trump thinks that like the witness just said, I never asked him to, uh, to lie. 
So the case is over. That's that. Like, asshole, go talk to Rudy Giuliani about how they got the mob. Do you think any of the mob bosses talk like that? The f- they talk around this shit. That's where he learned it from. Not even from the real ones, from fucking movies. Order in his federal case, though. Prosecutors, they want to reimpose one. Now, the American Civil Liberties Union argued that the gag order violates the U.S. Constitution. Now, this is somewhat surprising. No, it doesn't. Surprising as the ACLU has been very critical. It's a bunch of Jews. Yeah. Of Trump in the past. The union argues that everyone is entitled to the same First Amendment protection against gag orders and that they say that they're just too broad and too vague. Bianca? They're too vague. They're too vag. Hmm. Can't have that. He might, Trump might grab it. John Glasgow reporting from our New York City newsroom on all of these new details here on those gag orders. John, thanks. Good to see also, uh, ma'am, I think your mic might be a little heavy. It seems to be pulling down part of your dress. See you. Let's talk about this a little bit closer now. Welcome in former National Press Secretary for the Trump campaign, Hogan Gidley, with us today and CEO for the Trump Media and Technology Group. Hogan Gidley, who looks like a young Dr. Smith from uh, Lost in Space. Devin Nunes. Guys, good to have you both in with us. <laughs> And you can always count on Devin Nunes to just fucking stick the landing on that dipshit smile every time. Thank you. Thanks for having us. You know, what a spectacle. I mean, $10,000, this judge and Goron, it, you know, it seems like they are, you know, drunk with power there, be it Letitia James or this judge. Uh, your take on, you know, what, mm. what he said yesterday. For- yeah, and only Trump can be drunk with power. First to you, Hogan, and how the judge is just... Is- Tell us what I say what I said just in a different way of saying it. You know what I mean? Is clearly trying to make um, it's nice to have uh, two guys who know I would never fuck them. Make an issue out of this. Yeah, this is an extension really of, of where Trump was in the White House. Now they just. Oh, you mean surrounded by Russians or has some legal teeth behind it. Remember the reason the media or was. Oh, I see. Because Sidney Powell and all them are part of. No, that's not what you mean and so many others hated Donald Trump was because he didn't use the filter of the nightly newscasts to, to get the message out to the people. He went to... He also didn't use legal means for a lot of Twitter. things. He went to social media uh, to, to tell people exactly what he was thinking. Now he's developed truth and does it through, through that platform. Uh, and, and he likes to explain to people what's going on. He likes... Is, is that what he's doing? Is he explaining to people what's going on? To defend... When he doxes people and... And, and says they're fucking Chuck Schumer. Himself. In this particular instance, I can't believe I'm saying, I think the SCLU has it right here. But the fact is, you are suppressing this man's First Amendment rights. Now, whether. No, no, he could talk about a lot of shit. It was narrow, that gag order. The attorneys want him talking publicly or not, it's a different story. Yes. But the fact is. Right. His own attorneys wishes, they wish the gag order would work. Donald Trump has that right. And it's. Yeah. If he wants to fuck up his case. And get his dumb ass thrown in jail, he can. I agree. I again I give give this man enough rope to try and tie his shoes and cut off the circulation to his feet. Very frustrating when you see this judge who from the outset allowing cameras in the courtroom, which is, you know, his prerogative. Kind of did that 1980 sitcom thing where he looks down, does a double take, takes his glasses off, and then looks at the camera and smiles and looks at the crowd and shrugs it off like it's some kind of joke. This is it is, it is a joke. It's a it's a civil trial around the uh, even the 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 idea that the Trump organization is an actual functional business is a fucking joke. The Apprentice was a joke. The Celebrity Apprentice was an embarrassing joke very serious because the American people's rights are very serious and when they're trampled on they deserve to be called out whether that be by Donald Trump or anybody else and they should have so yeah you're right so he's so Donald Trump is trampling on the right of the like the judge's clerk to like come and go from work without having to worry about getting killed and he's trampling on that right so he should shut the f- up right the right to do so and do under the US Constitution yeah, and you know you're right, and yeah, it's so true, Devin. You know, AC- and also the Iraq CLU was pretty clear uh, in their filing. They said Trump retains a First Amendment right to speak. So even they believe that in the D.C. case, this is not New York; it's with uh, Tanya Chukon, that his rights are being violated, and he. 
shoot con. He's the leading GOP candidate. I mean, this really. Yeah, but that's like, you know, like. It's like being the um, this the world's stinkiest fart screams Whoa. to, uh, you know, the First Amendment rights for any American, but let alone a political in a category of other just never mind. candidate and a former president. Yeah, I was I was quite frankly shocked that the ACLU actually came in uh, and, and took this case up because why they defend Nazis sometimes for a long time. They've been quiet because President Trump, as Hogan said, has been mistreated for a very long time, dating back to his entire presidency. Oh, he was so so he was mistreated the entire time he was president of the United States of America. And we're the snowflakes. Holy shit. Where he had the whole apparatus of the government, let's not forget, spy on his campaign. No, they didn't. And him, the whole. No, no, they were spying on Russians and they were in, they were in contact with those Russians. Therefore. Mueller hoax, the Russian investigation that destroyed and, and took up so much of, of, the of his golf time, of his time that he could have been golfing while he golfed more than any other president in history. By a factor of 10. American people's time. And I think really hurt Donald Trump. No, I was, I, I was good. I got a lot of shit done. I was very functional. I mean, obviously, it, COVID came along and a lot of us found a way to putter around the house more than usual. Donald Trump's presidency. But more so specific to, to this case in New York. This case is totally ridiculous. And I think there's a lot of people out there who should be saying something. They should be standing up like the ACLU is right now. And that would include many business journals. Uh, through yeah, yeah, the the, the Poughkeepsie uh, uh, com Commerce Club Mo Moosehead Lodge number 79. They have a lovely zine they put out. Um the the Oklahoma uh, Cash uh, and uh, Crypto Miners Association, both of those guys throughout the United States, people that are in business, you would think even out of business, people who have lost businesses because of Trump's handling of COVID, people who died and, and before they could leave their business to anybody, banks and lawyers who do work for for uh, for for bank businesses, oh for banks. banks and for financial services, the financial services sector. Yeah, that, that there is a bit of an issue with uh, the fact that um, banks really don't want to have anything to do with this dumb fuck. Members of Congress in the... Oh, I see. In between clips, there's a green screen. In between clips. Is it on my main page? Okay, hold on. Back up here. Oh, I know what it is. Hold on. The trends, where is it? Oh, it's this guy. So during the trends one. Yeah, that's uh, because I set the cat cam on the other thing. Thanks. Now he figured out the mystery. His problem is when I look at, when I have that screen up, I'm looking at you guys and the screen's up there. So I'm not even, I don't even see, but I, again, I'm running this by myself. Senate. And here's why. This is not complicated. Uh-huh. It's super simple. Tell us how something is really just simple. It could all be over so quickly and handled so easily if people would just listen to someone as simple as Devin. And Trump is being very mistreated right now. Oh no! Because what did you boo? What they're talking about here is loans that he got through a bank. Now, anytime well, you several go to get a loan, right. whether it's a home loan or whether this. it's a business yeah. loan, there, there is a process in place that's, by the way, backed up through 200 years of state law in New York. That Yeah, but uh, 200 years ago, or even 100 years ago, or, or even 80 years ago, there was not an influx of laundered Russian, Iranian, Chinese, and, and, uh, and Saudi Arabian money coming in to uh, control politicians in our country. And this is one of the last areas where the money can flow and nobody can spot it. People have to follow, that the banks have to follow. We know. They have yeah. to go get Oh my God, it's the bank's fault. I mean, they they lend him the money. I mean, hello, who's the idiot here? An appraisal, for example. So and financial statements are quite frank. He attached forgeries to his financial statements from other companies 
that he that did not do positive appraisals appraisals of his properties he's he lied misled and he went you don't have to listen to me listen to these fucking guys do your own due diligence so oh, i've already done it for you and this company and mazar's my accounting firm who i lied to and dropped me because they don't trust me anymore um i attached their appraisal to my appraisal and it all lines up frankly i mean i'm sure hogan's filled them out i'm sure we all also by the way if you lie on those kind of appraisals, on that kind of a scale, you're getting loans you don't deserve. And money is a, is a zero-sum game. If you're getting money for a loan, someone else isn't. They don't have an infinite m amount of money to loan out. So if you cheat your way to the fucking front of the line, then you knock people out who deserve the loan. That's the crime. Never mind the fact that he was... You know, that. All, that inflating them to the banks and deflating them to the IRS is a crime and two separate crimes running at the same time and whatever. On its face, the fact that you were able to lie your way to the front of the line, other people didn't get to start businesses or buy buildings or b develop properties or any of that shit because that money was spoken for by somebody who didn't deserve it. I filled them out. Repeatedly. Look, I may value there's a disclaimer, my house at and a certain there's a disclaimer price. right on the front saying you have to go reevaluate this. This is not. This is not. Yeah, but they attached fraudulent documents from other groups that did not evaluate these ways, and so they tried to sneak. They tried to pull a fast one. Don't don't believe me. Who do you trust me or your lying eyes? Read their statement of my financial wealth. Well, I typed it up and I used their letterhead. You know, we're just putting this out there. There was a disclaimer on the front. Um, I do <clears> want to get you out. We have some remaining time here. Yeah, but he also lied to his accountants and he lied to the other appraisers as well to, to, to manipulate them. I just want to get your reaction to Michael Cohen and, and showing up there and saying uh, Trump's this defeated man. And well, he didn't tell me to change the property rates. He just implied it here. I, it is stunning. It is stunning. But I guess Letitia James, this is her, you know, star witness here. Cohen. No, it's not. This, her star witness is the fucking paperwork, the paper that says he said, Donald Trump said it's 30,000 square feet, the apartment he lived in, and he got a loan based on it, but it's actually 11,000 square feet. That's the star witness. Spoken to you. It's a business civil trial, dumb fuck. Yeah, and you know, the last time I was actually in New York at Newsmax, I was walking down the street and I saw- Wait a minute, Newsmax's offices are in New York? How, uh, how are they not on fire? I heard that crime is so rampant in New York, people are getting killed straight out on the street. As a matter of fact, Donald Trump apparently shot someone in the middle of Fifth Avenue and he didn't lose any supporters because nobody noticed because everybody was getting shot. It was just literally, he was like, nobody's paying attention. I just shot somebody and I didn't lose any supporters because nobody even knows that I shot anybody. Michael Cohen, I thought to myself, geez, what a clown this guy is. Obviously. Well, uh, I will say Michael's got his hair in order. Convicted uh, problems with lying in the past. And so for him to have any creep. By the way, I, it's a shame that Roddy McDowell can't play him in the movie. His credibility with the legacy media right now is ridiculous. It just seems as if anyone wants to say something bad about Donald Trump, you've got a platform. There are. That's right. Hal Sparks Mega Worldwide. Like, subscribe, become a Patreon. It's a, it's a great place where I can funnel all the things, the awful that you would like to say about Donald Trump. I'm glad to say it on your behalf. And I'll use big boy words to do it. Unlike a lot of these other namby pambies who are afraid of getting a, a, a yellow dollar sign instead of a green in their monetization because I use naughty language. But uh, quite frankly, it just proves that I believe what I'm saying. Plenty of outlets uh, that aren't really necessarily news, but are more opinion. Like the one you're on design and dedicated to try and take down Donald Trump and Michael Cohen just as the latest stooge. Yeah, yeah, he's not that important, fuckhead. They're designed to take, in some cases, to take down, you know, anybody that they differ with the same way Fox is, I would suppose. But it's not like they went, we must build a media empire to destroy Donald Trump. He's just like a big gadfly. To try and accomplish that, it's not going to happen. The American people can see through it. Devin, I have uh, 20 seconds. Final word to you. Yeah, I think that Cohen is a product of the corrupt Department of Justice and this whole system that Donald Trump's been living through. Do Michael Cohen is a product of Donald Trump. The guy got beat up, beat the hell out of him. They finally broke him. And now the guy will do anything. They broke him. Trump let, hung him out to dry. And say anything because the guy sadly is kind of down on his luck. And so the fact that New York would try to use this guy is absolutely ridiculous, but not as ridiculous as this entire as your smile higher case period or literally uh just having the word truth in different colors behind you hoping that solves it 
Well, we know uh, former president not afraid to continue to fight and speak out. He doesn't have a choice, dummy. On uh, the truth there, what he believes is happening behind those uh, courtroom doors every single day. Devin Nunes. What he believes is happening, he's watching it. What, what he knows is happening is he's losing. Hogan Gidley, great to have you both in. Thanks so much for your time. Thank you. Thanks. All right. Thanks. <clears throat> Next time, can I be in studio and sit on your lap? Oh, wow. <laughs> He's got Devin Nunes' smile. <laughs> All the boys think he's got dummy eyes. He's got a Devin Nunes' smile. <laughs> um, <laughs> Jesus Christ.